This is the way we treat rustlers the first time we catch them. Now, Morgan, I reckon you can go. If you're caught inside our lines again, it means the rope. You can turn them loose now, Pete. You killed my kid. It ain't our aim to kill, Morgan. Your boy opened fire on us. We exchanged his shots and one of us got him. Now, get going and remember what I told you. I ain't forgetting, or others. Wait a minute. My first job. My wife died weeks ago. Pretty hard taking care of a babe. No work. I needed money. Morgan offered me a cut. Well, I'm thanking you boys for letting me go. We're sorry for you, Tracy. And we're wishing you luck. Thanks, boys. Come on, Tracy. <laughs> Brothers home.
Better from headquarters, Mary. Sheriff was killed at Yucca two weeks ago. I have been ordered to run down the gang that got him. Oh, I was in hopes you could give up this work, Dan. Mary, I'll never give up until I've found our boy. If Morgan's still alive, someday, I'll get him. Where's the kid? <laughs> Gone to town. Gone to town, eh? Yeah, and you better put a stop to it or you'll have the law follow him into this valley. How long has this been going on? Mighty regular. Sometimes by the way of Tracy's and sometimes by the desert. I'll stop that. Right, here's where we always lose him. Where have you been? In town. Without asking me? Well, I'm always plenty careful. From the looks of that horse, you had to ride for it. Oh, I ditched him easy. Someday it won't be so easy. You'll be right on your trail in this valley. Now, if you leave here again, I'm going to whip you within an inch of your life. As far back as I can remember, all you ever gave me was the whip. I gave you a home. I fed and clothed you. What more do you want? Nothing I can get in this sand hole. Well, this sand hole's been a safe hiding place for years, and you ought to be glad you're in it. Why should I? I haven't done anything. Well, the law doesn't know that. But then you're just one of the gang. So 
There's a price on your head and they'll get you on sight. Well, I don't want to cause you any trouble. And if going to town worries you, I'll stay away. Now you're talking sense. Where are you headed for now? Tracy. The girl, eh? Maybe. I ain't risking our safety on your account. You can be trailed just as well from Tracy's as you can from the basin. Now you're staying in this valley. What if I don't? You know what you'll get. I know. But I'm so used to it, Dad, I doubt whether you could hurt me anymore. I'm warning you for the last time. For the last time? Good. Come on, boy. Expecting someone, Sally? I thought Bob might be coming over. Does Morgan know he comes here? I don't think so. Hmm. I reckon not. Well, he'd have put a stop to it long ago. Why? Well, you see, Morgan ain't never liked me very much. Dad, why have you stayed here all these years? I've been hoping to right a wrong. It was done many years ago. Oh, but there, you better get going or it'll be dark before you get back. All right, Dad. Tracy? Hello, son. How are you? All right. Where's Sally? She's gone to town. How long ago did she leave? She just left. If you take the shortcut, I reckon you can catch her. We'll sure try.
Gee, you sure gave me a scare. Oh, Bob, I'm so glad you came. I was about to faint. Well, everything's all right now, and if you feel like fainting, go ahead. All right. Oh, that wasn't fair. I'll drive along with you as far as I can, Sally. I promised Dad I'd stay away from town. I'm beginning to hate this country and everything that goes with it. They stopped me from going to town, and now they're going to try and stop me from seeing you. I'm through with it all, Sally. I'm going to California. You don't mean that you're going away? Yes, I am. But not for very long. We better get out of here. Come on, White. Them local authorities sure need assistance. Buck, it's strange how things seem to play into my hand. You, you acquainted with this gent? Yep. Years ago, me and him set in a game. And they've never been finished. I'm waiting to call his hand. Tell me about it. I've been leaving the hideout for months without Dad knowing it. About a month ago, some star packers trailed me to the basin. This morning, they spotted me again, and I had a race for it. Does Morgan know that? Yep. He found out this morning. He threatened to lash me if I left the valley again. Will they rip you for coming here? Maybe. But it'll be the last time. Because tomorrow I'm leaving for good. But why go back? I've got some money hidden there. Enough to take me to California. Then I'll get a job and... Someday I'll be coming back for you. You won't have to. But we're going with you. Will you? Gee, that'll be great. Well, I've panned a little dust out of these hills. And with what you've got, I reckon we can get along. That's the one thing I've planned on for years, is taking you back yonder. Son, I have a long story to tell you sometime. But right now, we'd better figure on getting away. Morgan mustn't know, or we'd never make it. We'll leave tomorrow night. The boys will be running some cattle, and we'll get a nice start on them. I'll go back with you. No, I'll be all right. That'll only make Dad suspicious. Hmm. Well, we'd better start packing right now. All right, Dad. Oh, Sally. I almost forgot. I I got something for you. Oh, Bob. A real diamond. You see, when we get to California, I want the other fellas to know that we're engaged. It's not very big, but it, it sure sparkles.
Hey, Lee. Your kid just got back from Tracy. Never trained that kid with a whip. No? Nope. Well, we'll see. That shooting iron is sure sick. Can't hit a barn with it. Let's have a look at it, Jake. Shooting iron's all right, Jake. Must be you that's sick. You know, there ain't a faster gunslinger in the country than that kid. Yes, there is. Just one. You mean this feller Carruthers? Yep. Well, I don't know him. But if they ever meet, I'm gambling on the kid. Well, maybe someday you'll... Get your chance to gamble. Got a match, Jake? Sure. You crossed me again, eh? But you've done it for the last time. From now on, you're riding with the boys. What do you mean? We're running Miller's cattle into the basin, and you're going along. You know I've never been mixed up in any of your crooked deals, and I'm not starting now. Get on your horse. I'm not going. Get his gun, boys. Take off his shirt. Put him around that tree. shape now. Another licking and he can't ride. Turn him loose. with the boy. I'm riding alone. Get mounted. I told you once, I'm not going. The only reason I'm taking this is because you're my father. Get him, boys. Lock him up. Get on your way. What's the matter with you? Oh, 
is it, boy? I want to bring Dan Carruthers into this valley. Carruthers? Yeah. I want you to go to town and lead him out here. Me? But the whole town knows me. That's just it. Let someone see you. And Carruthers is sure to trade you out here. We ain't giving ourselves up, are we? No. Yucca's gonna lose another star packer. I'm calling for a showdown. And the kid's gonna have a hand in it. Where's his gun? Make it pronto. Yeah, I'm all right. Just as you say. Well, that gang don't do any work in the daytime. They do most of their jobs at night. So you've never been able to find the hideout of that gang? We trail some of them, but we lose them in the hills. We'll take a look at that strip of country. Any idea who's the head of that gang, Marshal? No, Tom, I haven't. But I'm in hopes it's Lee Morgan. Lee Morgan? I never heard of him. Maybe not. He's an outlaw and a cattle rustler. Sixteen years ago, he stole my boy. Who is that? It's Buck Connors. We're sure he's one of them. Wait a minute. Let him go. He belongs to that outfit. He'll lead us to the hideout. We'll trail him. Your dad says if you've changed your mind, you can eat. You can tell, Dad, I haven't changed my mind. When I ride, I'm riding alone. Well, do it yourself. Got away? Yeah. I don't know that we're on his trail. I'm not so sure. He must have seen us. 
He's cutting over into the canyon. Spread out, boys. So the kid got away, eh? Never mind, I'll tend to him. You wanted Carruthers. Well, you got him. How close is he? He ain't so far back. He's trailing me into the valley. Round up the boys at the basin. We may need him. I'll find a way to get the kid back to camp. I'm so worried. Sure, I'm all right, Sally. They locked me up, but I got away. Do you think they'll follow you? No, I don't think so. No one was there but Dad and Butch. Made it, eh? Well, everything's packed. Why not leave now? If they should follow, they could trail us by daylight. We better wait till dark. Did they lick you? Not this time. You know, Dad Tracy, it's not the kicks of the licking. It's the idea that he's my father, and I can't fight back. Sit down, son. I want to tell you a story. When you were a kid, just a baby in arms, Morgan and me... Just a minute, Tracy. Hello, kid. Don't you reckon you were a little hasty, Bob? I figured on letting you go. I just heard what you said outside. Maybe you were right. Maybe I have been a little hard on you. From now on, things are going to be different. We let bygones be bygones. I want your kids to be happy. You were going to tell them a story about a sheriff, weren't you, Tracy? Yes, I was. Well, that sheriff's closing in on us right now. But, Dad... We've got to get away. You take Sally and we'll meet you at camp. Son, I'm going to stake you to a fresh start out yonder. Do you mean that, Dad? There's my hand on it. Tracy and me will stall him, and we'll follow you. You'll get out through the basin way. Hurry up. Just a minute, Tracy. What were you going to tell that kid? Why, I... Uh... I know. You were going to squeal on me. I'd never do that to you, Lee. Well, I'm going to make sure that you never will. No, no. Not bad, Morgan. Not bad.
Taking your boy back to you. He's alive? Yes, Dan. Morgan tricked him and my gal back with him. Quick, Dan. Kill Dad Tracy? Yes. Oh, Bobby. Oh, don't don't cry, Sally. I gotta go to him. I gotta go. Hey. You're too late. The law is here now. Oh, don't cry, Sally. <laughs> Son, he's a gunman. He's too quick for me. It's up to you to get us out of this. But, Dad, I, I'm not a killer. But you don't have to kill him. Just bust his gat while he's drawn. <laughs> That's it. Then I'll break him. I'll pay him back for killing Dad Tracy. Don't worry, Sally. It's our only chance to get away. <laughs> Sally, you stay right here. Now, Star Packer, draw and drop your gun. Told to drop your gun for others. Drop it. 
Put your hands behind you. Now get going. Do you know me, Carruthers? Yes, I know you, Morgan. Now we're evened up. Meaning what? That it's a kid for a kid. The lad you just shot is your own son. He'd have got you, Carruthers. But I filled his gun with blanks. I knew our trails had crossed, and when they did... Is there any word you'd like to send the boys in town? Now I know why you've hated me and beat me. I'm going to pay you back, blow for blow. Here comes Buck. Boys, the law's coming into the valley. Get back to camp. Bobby! Son! Your own blanks, Morgan. Bobby. Uh, the keys are in my pocket, son.
Quick, Dad. It's Morgan's gang. Spread out, boys, and surround them. They got him. Quick, Sally. We've got to ride for our lives. Cut around, boys, and surprise them. Morgan's got Sally. Come on, son. Reach up there. Him to live, don't move. Turn around. be all right.
Did you? It was Dad Tracy. He saved my life. Tracy, I'll be making this up to you. That's all right, Dan. Son, I reckon there's someone waiting for you out yonder. Mary. Oh. oh. Mary, I'm through with guns forever. You don't mean. Mother. 